Hi, my name is Marie. I also work for Open Media, and I'm actually looking for help. Uh, if you've experienced tracking uh, conversions or new joins from your campaigns on social media, uh, I'd love to hear from you. My email is just marie at openmedia.org. Thank you. Lightning fast. Love that. So who's next who wants to come on up? I'm ready. I'm ready. Bring it on. All right. So uh, my name is Chad, and outside of bringing you popsicles, and there's four left, and they're melting right now. You want to eat them. There is no freezer. It is up to you to save the ice cream. Um, my day job is I work for a Canadian charity called the Neil Squire Society, and we were funded by Google to make this device. And what it is for people that have a very high level of physical disability, can't use their hands. It's basically a mouse that you use with your mouth, so you can mount your wheelchair, and very limited movement, you kind of a mouse cursor, so you pop the tap. We release it open source, so it's not like in our $2,000 medical device, we build for about 200 bucks worth of parts. Um, we built about 100, but I got one of our 200 people on the waiting list, so if you're looking for like a team building day, that's like fun. Um, I'll bring the soldering irons, I'll teach you how to solder, and uh, I've had great nice students build 20 of these in a day. I believe you can do it too. So I need some volunteers on to build these devices. If you're interested, love to chat with you over that beer. Cheers. Love it, thank you. And we're all having a kind of like an upcoming gala, looking for a volunteer, have something to show off about. Come on up. Hi, um, it's my first time here. Woo! Uh, welcome! My name is Uli. I'm not a nonprofit. I'm not um, an activist. I'm just a regular person who spoke up about Airbnb in Vancouver. I have a Facebook page called uh, Homes Not Hotels. And uh, the city is responsive, citizens are responsive, but I'm just one person. I'm just a regular person running a Twitter and Facebook. And uh, don't know what to do next. Don't even know what my question is, but uh, I'm open to discussion on that, open to help, and uh, activating a bit more efficiently. Thanks. Cool, thank you. Anyone else want to take? Perfect. Thank you. Hi, my name is Chris Chapman. I am the co campaign manager for Surrey Cloverdale and UP. Um, one of our members is involved with opening up, one, I believe, the first co-op cemetery in BC. We have been given permission to have a zombie run there on Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I think this sells itself, but um, <laughs> I use pen and paper and I need to build capacity. If anyone can help me, I would sure appreciate your help and advice. In return, I'll give you all my money. <laughs> awesome. Is there a place where we can find out more about this? <laughs> Not yet? That would be the first thing. That right. <laughs> first thing. <laughs> awesome. 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 Perfect. Anything else? Anyone else have what, anything you want to show off? You've got this is your last opportunity. We're not back until September. Okay. That's right. Come on up. Don't be shy. Well, come up beside the speaker. Um, hi, Denise Williams, I'm the Executive Director of the First Nations Technology Council. And, um, oh, I'm Fans. <laughs> I'm your fan too. Um, so, we're launching a provincial strategy to increase the number of Indigenous people participating in the business tech sector. Uh, we're going to be launching in November. The idea is that Indigenous people from across BC will be participating in a 12 uh, certificate program from the Silicon Valley Institute of Technology. Uh, from there, they'll be moving on into internships um, with any technology company, uh, entrepreneur from around BC that's willing to uh, host an Indigenous up-and-coming talent uh, resource. And from there, they'll move on to advanced streams in web development, GIS, uh, communications, social media, office professional type work. And what I'm looking for is um, people who would be willing to mentor um, Indigenous tech talent and not-for-profits and other companies uh, that would have them as uh, co-ops. Uh, even just the really brilliant people that are in this room that would be willing to talk to me about it and uh, let me give you my pitch and see what you think. So I'll be up here having the free drinks. Yay! <laughs> Perfect, thank you. We have room for one more. Who's going to, come on, come on up, come on up. This is your chance. 
Awesome. Remember to introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Yvette. First time here. And I'm from, from the Surrey Hospital Society. We've been around for 30 years and um, we are a very low tech organization, but we need lots of support, especially around outreach. Um, many people don't like to talk about grief or death or very serious matters. And um, so, in order for us to uh, fundraise or do any kind of um, community connections, we really need to have people understand what we do and have a very good message about it as well. So what we need and what I'm looking for is perhaps somebody that's a good storyteller, a digital storyteller that can, um, if you look at our website, it's, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> it, it's better than it was before. It looks um, beautiful. <laughs> but uh, we, we really need to add some storytelling to what we do so that people don't get scared when I say I work at hospice. They just think, oh my God, I don't want to talk to you. So um, if anybody knows about um, a company that can help us, um, we don't have a lot of money, but um, we have a lot of creativity and um, in need of support. So volunteer or very low fee, whatever would help. All right? Thanks for that. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. So we are now coming up to the end of today, but there's one last thing. So I'm gonna to want to keep four people behind. Two of those people are gonna move chairs. So it's like, we're not talking about the world's heaviest, ugliest work, but you need to feel comfortable with like doing a little bit of lugging as we put these chairs away and sort of reassemble this space. Two other people need to be on dish duty. We have got fresh dishes like that need to come out of the dishwasher, and then basically we need to take all the dishes that have come from you guys and we do a quick reload. And that just makes us look like the world's best tenants, so the hive will continue to donate their space. So if I can have four people, maybe put up their hands, I see one, oh, two, three, oh, and there's four, great. Those four, right, thank you so much, you're amazing. So while those four people are sweating here in the hive mind, Stephanie, who is going to stand up, is going to take you for booze. So we're going to go down to Darby's. It's about a block and a half down that way, down east. Um, but she's going to escort you so you don't get lost. First drink is going to be on us. After that, you got to take care of yourself. But uh, we're going to at least ease you into this. And it's a school event, so we don't need to go crazy. Um, so Stephanie's going to leave in about five minutes, so if you just want to basically loiter up top, she will gather you there, she's going to yell it out loud as she heads out, um, and it's all going to be amazing. The hard four are going to hang out with me and Chad for a while, we're going to do a power claim, and then we're going to come and join you. Uh, so uh, don't get out of control by the time we get there. Otherwise, thank you so much for coming out, thanks so much to our host, The Hive, and uh, thanks so much. For Steve for blowing our minds today. Super helpful. We'll see you all in September. Later, y'all.